You talk a lot about foreplay. It's one of your favorite topics. What happens when couples disregard foreplay? Oh, so I would say foreplay is not just a light suggestion, it's actually a requirement. When couples disregard foreplay, they end up knocking up against each other, having sex that's not satisfying. Um, they're both not in the mood for it, and they're not having the most pleasurable, satisfying sex. We require that for intimacy. I think that couples can have sex, but they don't feel connected and intimate. So the more we slow everything down, we bring back kissing, we bring back touch. And once we just decide that like it's not, foreplay does, can also be the main event. Foreplay doesn't have to be this three minute thing before you go into sex. It's so my way of telling couples like, it's okay if sex has become routine because look at all these other you know ways to play with each other. There's a huge sexual sandbox. And I think when we think that it goes right from foreplay to sex, it does a disservice to everybody. So couples can kind of look at it as like, oh, foreplay is sex. Sex is foreplay. Let's get excited. Let's start you know things out. Like we'll realize that they'll be they'll feel much more connected to each other. When should couples start thinking about foreplay? Um, the first time they meet and they have sex. <laughs> um, so I think that it's never too soon to talk. It's never too soon to be talking about sex. It's like when your clothes come off. Even before then, talk about sex and foreplay. I mean. Right away, like right away, like God, you know, I love when you kissed my neck last week. That felt so good. I can't stop thinking about our kiss. Or when you had your hand on my lower back, reinforcing, letting your partners know what feels good, feels good to you. Our partners are not mind readers, so I think it can be really overwhelming. We're like, why aren't we connecting? It's like you got to give your partner some information so they can work off it and also work together. Discover rotten stones. You know, learn sensual massage so you can really figure out where your hot spots are because it's different on everybody. So just because your last partner wanted something doesn't mean this partner does. So you've got to start talking about it right away. I mean, only if you want to have really good sex. <laughs> and um, what's something, what's, a, what's like a, a real quick hack? for something they can add to their foreplay routine to kind of really spice it up. Oh God, my favorite hack is um, to, God, use toys. I love using toys. Toys are great because it adds different vibrations, pressures, different sensations that you cannot have with your fingers alone. <laughs>